ever been in a conversation with somebody and all you're thinking is, is this person okay? Today, we're talking about toxic people and how to handle them. Be strong. Be strong. Welcome once again to another mm-hmm. episode of Lifestyle Talk with Tara. Um, I'm your host, Obiya Omatara, and today we'll be talking about toxic people and how to handle them. First of all, who is a toxic person and what is toxic behavior? A toxic person is basically someone who is unsupportive or someone who always has a negative vibe. Toxic behavior is anything that can poison a relationship and hinders the growth of another person. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify a toxic person and how you can eventually get to handle them. The first step to know a toxic person or to identify a toxic person is to fish for people who are always surrounded by drama. A toxic person is always surrounded by drama. If they do not create this drama by themselves, they would find a way to get into other people's issues just so that they can show themselves. A toxic person is a person in your compound that is always fighting with everybody. A toxic person is someone on social media who is always commenting on their posts and you know ruining threads or being unnecessarily negative. You know, a toxic person would do anything to get attention focused on them. Number two, they make snide remarks, they make sarcastic comments, they give backhanded compliments. Why? Because a toxic person is always jealous. Why are they jealous? There's so much self-hate that they carry within themselves that they find it very hard to be happy for another person, genuinely happy for another person. So even when people are complimenting this person or praising the person on their good successes, the toxic person will find a way to dampen that excitement. Three, the toxic person doesn't like change. What do I mean by this? When you find out that this person is toxic and you try to set boundaries, a toxic person will do all they can to manipulate you or manipulate the situation in such a way that they get it back under control, under their control, so that they know that wherever you are, they have a hold on you. A toxic person will not let you progress because they want to keep you in a comfortable spot where they are. They want you with them. They don't want to ever be alone. So they do not like change. Anything that will take you away from a toxic person, they will not allow it. Four, a toxic person overshares. How do I know? Sometimes someone is telling you their story and you're thinking, do I really need to know this? Isn't this personal? A toxic person will share a story in such a way that they show themselves or they showcase themselves as the victim. They emphasize or overemphasize on the misfortunes. They want you to empathize with them. They want you to sympathize with them. However, they are never ready to take your advice. Sometimes when you prefer solutions to their problems, a toxic person would rather focus more on the story. You understand? They never really want to get past that. They might pretend to want to, but eventually, when it's time to take action for that thing to be done, they go back to the story. Uh, number five, after meeting a toxic person, you feel drained. There is no how. You just feel emotionally suckered out. Like You feel like there's nothing you can do to help this person, or you feel like there's nothing more you can give to help this person. And eventually, when you feel like, oh, I could help, they don't let you, you know, do anything positive. A toxic person will always make you feel less of yourself, and a toxic person will always make you doubt yourself. It's either they are not letting you, you know, share your opinions in, in a conversation, they're not letting you get a word in, or they are imposing their opinions on you because to them it's facts. So toxic people are usually arrogant, you understand? Try to avoid these people when you see them. Okay, next we are going to be talking about how to handle these people. Number one, set boundaries and respect them. Everybody can say, oh, I'm not going to talk to this person again. But when you, when you say you don't want to talk to this person again, maintain it all. Let's say it's someone you can't completely cut out of your life, say for instance a sibling or an extended relative. What you want to do is set boundaries that you can respect because truly if you do not respect your boundaries, this toxic person will not respect them for you. 
you have to be sure you have to make sure that your conversations with them do not lead to you know gossip because toxic people thrive on gossip and drama you want to keep your conversations short and to the barest limit. you can also try this when you start trying to gossip about somebody else say something nice about the person it usually ends the conversation abruptly number two protect yourself and always focus on you um when you protect yourself from their toxic behaviors it's something like this say you have a friend who likes to party every friday and because toxic people don't like to do things alone you know they always like to be center of attention so they would urge their friends to go with them to this party or to this bar or to this meeting something and sometimes you don't want to go you just want to be by yourself you just want to stay home and chill but a toxic person would manipulate you so much that you feel bad for not joining your friend to go or you feel like you're not trying you know, she wants to tell you to help her have a good time and she manipulates you to think that you're not doing that for her so what do you do to counter things like this you can find an activity that you're interested in you know that kind of could light to the time that she would like to go to the party you understand so say you pick up a sport or you pick up painting or some interest you know and make sure that you are consistent with that so that when she eventually comes and says hey let's do this let's go do this you can genuinely say i want to do this i have something that i'm doing that way you are able to put a stop to their toxic behaviors and involving you in them lastly reflect on your relationship with a toxic person what do i mean um sometimes you are caught in the unhealthy cycle of this relationship this toxicity because some people feel like oh i can't leave this person why because oh we've been friends for a very long time or our family are friends or um i can help this person some people really feel like i can help this person or i can change this person or i can fix this person my dear it is wrong let me tell you nobody can change a toxic person why because a toxic person will only feel the need to change when they want to you know sometimes they change but it is sure that it is nothing that anybody else does that changes them so a toxic person has to realize that they are toxic he or she is toxic and then of course decide to change maybe heal from a mental trauma that he once went through or um, visit a therapist something talk to somebody that would actually help them to locate the root of their pain and how they you know project it on other people so um, I know that while I was talking about this most of you had people in your mind that you're thinking oh, this person is toxic ah, this my friend is toxic ah. but what we don't realize is that sometimes we are the toxic people how okay I had this friend um, some time ago that would always when she hurts me try to pretend like nothing happened i usually thought that she was pretending that nothing happened and when she tries to talk to me again i'm like in my mind i'm like why are you trying to talk to me we are fighting so i don't talk to her i tend to ignore her for like a, a week if i can to her it was i was keeping malice but to me it's like i don't want to talk to you why because um growing up my mom wouldn't talk to me if you know i if i upset her so um in her own family she had a larger family so there was always somebody to talk to you know so coming from different backgrounds it felt like she she felt like i was trying to you know keep malice with her or be that person that would always beg for attention she felt like i wanted her to go on her knees and beg and cry before i had to talk to her again which wasn't really true but i found out later on when I had it done to me also that that trait or that behavior is very toxic you don't want to do that especially to people who care about you it's best to always talk to them and hash things out than keeping malice with them because it somehow affects their mind and you know their emotional peace their inner peace so you don't want to do that to people you care about secondly do you take responsibility for your actions or you just find it very convenient to blame other people some people can do this one for africa they would never take responsibility for anything that's happening around them if for instance they fail a course it's the lecturer that failed them 
<laughs> it's always we hear things like, oh, what did you get in social course? They gave me E. Who gave you E? You worked. You, you probably didn't even work for the E. You got the E. You got what you deserved. But it's never their fault. Nobody has. Even if it is, nobody would know that it's their fault because they would always explain their problems away as someone else's fault. Also. There are people who are emotional bugs. What did I mean? What do I mean by that? Some people are such pessimists. You know, they never see the positive side of anything. There are some people when you call them like this, are you okay? No, they are never okay. They are never fine. How are you? I'm not fine. It's either today they are sad or tomorrow they are, you know, broke or next tomorrow they are angry with somebody. There's always something wrong with them. You really should try to stay away from such a people and you should examine yourself if you are somebody like that because the truth is when you feed negative vibe or when you feed off negative vibe it affects the people around you it affects the mindset and the the aura or should I say the atmosphere around you people are never really happy around you and why is that why would you want a situation like that if you are that kind of person you might want to check yourself because you're a toxic person lastly do you one up people People get to ask me, what do I mean by do I want to? I'm going to explain this. And this one is very rampant. Somebody comes to you like, ah, sister or brother, I'm going through this and, you know, I need help or something. The next thing you say is, ah, your own is small. Do you know what I went through last week? And, I mean, that is not what it came to you for. You need to be able to put your own misfortunes aside. Do you understand? You need to be able to talk to them. Even if you're going to share your experience, let it be from a place of, wanting to help them wanting to help them overcome whatever it is they are going through also some people go like oh you come to share your success story with them and they're like and hey, this person did it to now they're never really happy for your for your success you understand it they want to they want to demean it like nothing else is new and somebody has done it now so what are you doing that is new please and please if you're that sort of person examine yourself try to be genuinely happy for people and if you do it